and welcome back to my reading vlogs. It has been five weeks since my last reading vlog because I was in teacher's college placement, which means that I'm in the classroom from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. And I was teaching math. If you're new to this channel, you don't know this, but I have a learning disability in math, so math is not my strong suit. So I would literally come home at three and then from three o'clock to 11 p.m learn the math that I was supposed to teach the next day. So, basically, no free time at all for the past five weeks. My placement is finally over. I now have free time again, which means I can now finally pick up a book again, which is like such a weird concept to me right now, but figured since I'm back reading, I should start doing my reading vlogs again. It is currently Thursday, February 6th, 2020 which means that I'm starting my reading vlog really late into the week because I was in placement till yesterday. But in Ontario, we are having a teacher strike right now for like a whole bunch of reasons I don't wanna get into, which means that my Thursday and Friday that I was supposed to be in the classroom were striking, so no school. Which means reading, which means yay! I actually just finished Supernova by Marissa Meyer this morning on audiobook and 5 out of 5 stars, I absolutely loved it. It took me so long to finish the series because like I said, I'm in teacher's college so I had no time to read, but it's finally done. I'm so upset that it's done. I'm really hoping that there's going to be like a spin-off series. It kind of seemed like it with the epilogue that like there is potential for that spin-off series. Like fingers crossed, I really want it. Marissa Meyer is one of my favorite authors so like I just want her to produce more work so I can read it, you know? But now I'm reading Stepsister by Jennifer Donnelly. It's like a retelling, well I guess not a retelling, but it's like a continuation of Cinderella after she's chosen by the prince, I guess, but it follows the stepsister. I'm only like 80 pages in right now, but so far I'm enjoying it. I'm probably gonna listen to a lot more of it tonight, but... Me and my mom just went to Ikea and bought myself a bookshelf, which means we have to build it and I have to put books on it because like there's just a mess. There's like books all over my floor over there. There's books in the other room. There's books behind my door. I just have like way too many books and nowhere to put them. I also have books like sitting on my dresser. What? I don't know how to make my finger go so it's pointing to it. That, no, mm, eh, whatever, you get the point. They're on my dresser too. They're everywhere. And you guys have never seen my other room bookshelf, so I'm actually gonna show you that and show you how like precariously stacked everything is, which means that not safe, I'm probably gonna die one day. So we're switching it so that there's not books everywhere. So I'm gonna show you that now, watch. So this is actually my grandma's old room when she lived with us, <laughs> but yeah, so as you see, I have all these books stacked up. Like, that's the ceiling. And all these books are just stacked. And it's like two stacks deep. So, like, it's not safe. And I have like one, two, three shelves already full. There's also books on the floor. There's also books there. We're like in the middle of trying to clean it out so that we can put my bookshelf there. Or we're gonna move this over there and put the bookshelf there. We haven't decided yet, but the point is, I'm very messy and I've taken over two rooms, so we need to fix this. Mommy's my builder. Mm -hmm. I'm helping. Okay, we need to tilt it on the side. Okay. <laughs> You're a good worker, B. Bad angle. Okay, that one's in. It's beautiful! Am I talking about the bookshelf or you? She doesn't respond. She's beautiful! Hey, you're in the shot. I am the shot. Yeah, you are. I'm okay. zooming in on your butt. <laughs> Look at her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> also, you. I thought it was still about me. <laughs> and there's Dad. Say hi. That's not hi. She's done. And she's beautiful. Um, I have to move all of this stuff on the floor and here onto there. 
And then I have stuff in my room too, but I haven't hauled it yet, so those are gonna stay there till further notice. But yay, it's done. It's Friday at like three. I have not left my bed all day and I have no regrets on that. It's my lazy day, okay? Tomorrow I go to work, Sunday I go to work, and then Monday I'm back at like my school classroom thing. So that means today I refuse to do anything, but I've been listening to Stepsister by Jennifer Donnelly the entire morning and I'm almost done. Like look how close I am. I only have like 50 or 60 more pages. I'll probably finish it within like the next hour, but I think I'm probably gonna give it a three out of five stars. I was kind of disappointed in it. It's just kind of boring. Like nothing is happening. Things are happening now, but I'm also like 50 pages left. So a lot of it was just like nothing. It was a whole lot of nothing. And I'm really bummed because a lot of people gave this like four or five stars and they really liked it so i don't know if maybe it's because i'm listening to it on audio or what but not loving it so it's just like a super average book and i'm really upset because like i dig the cover it's really cool and then i don't know what i'm going to listen to after i might pick up king of fools by amanda foodie again because i've been reading that since april so like been a while since i've actually picked it up and read it and I really should because my mom wants to read it too and I just keep telling her she's not allowed to read it until I'm done it but it's been like a thousand years since I started it so that needs to get done hopefully by this weekend we'll see I got the package from Fierce Reads but it's soaking wet because it's a snow thing outside snow thing? snowstorm there's a snowstorm outside everything's wet and they left it on our doorstep but they didn't like ring the doorbell or anything, so there's a lot. Yeah, it's a little wet, but it's not bad. It's this one, this one, this one, that one, that one, and that one. Just kidding, I'll actually show you the books like for real. So the first one is The Girl in the White Van by April Henry. She recently released another book that I read called The Lonely Dead. I think I gave it like a two out of five stars though, so like I wasn't the biggest fan. Tagline is a teen is snatched outside her kung fu class and must figure out how to escape. So right up my alley, I really like kidnapping stories, which I know sounds super creepy, but I enjoy them. Second one is The Do Over by Jennifer Honeyborn. It says you only get one second chance. Yeah, it's a swoon reads, so I'm assuming that is going to be like a contemporary. It's basically about this girl named Amelia who wants to be popular. She ends up becoming popular, but then she's not happy and so she wants like a do-over and she ends up waking up and getting that do-over, but things aren't any better. And the books are like soaked from the snow, so I'm trying to like wipe them off real quick. Next one is All Our Worst Ideas, and this is by Vicky Skinner. This is about a girl who is dating a guy. He ends up breaking up with her, and so she decides that she is going to get a job at a record store. She meets a boy there. Oh, they become friends, and then confidants, and then something more. But when Amy has a hard time letting go of what she thought was her perfect future with her ex, she risks losing the future she didn't even know she wanted with Oliver, so... Contemporary. Next one is The Ballad of Amy Miles by Christy Dallas Alley. I'm hoping this is creepy. It looks like it could be creepy. It follows a girl who's raised in isolation at a like trailer park. And then her grandfather arranges a marriage to a cold eye stranger. She realizes that destiny as one of the few females capable of stillbearing children isn't something she's ready to face. I'm guessing she's like really young, which like, eh, I don't like that. She basically runs away from the trailer park to try to do her own thing and then discovers that many things about the world are scary. This one's really wet, like water damage galore, which sucks, but that's okay. This one is This Is All Your Fault by Amina May Safi. It follows three girls who know each other about as much as they ever want to. They all 
go to work at Wild Nights Bookstore. I like bookstores. On the first day of summer, they're expecting the hours to drift by the way they always do. Instead, these three women have to deal with the unexpected news that the bookstore is closing. Before the day is out, there'll be shaved heads, a diva author, and a very large shipment of counterfeit Air Jordans. It will take all three of them working together if they have any chance to save Wild Nights. All right, so contemporary question mark I think and this one is not up my alley at all I probably won't end up reading it but it's Miss Gloria Steinham a life by Winford Conkling I asked my mom who she was and my mom just said she's a feminist I'm not exactly the biggest fan of nonfiction books so I probably won't even end up reading this at all because I just don't find them entertaining like I just don't want to read real life stories which is bad you should you know take a gander at those kind of things to broaden your horizons but I don't want to broaden my horizons apparently so but yeah so those are the books that, that Fierce Reads sent me so thank you so much to Fierce Reads for sending them my way I'm excited to read one two three four five five out of six Saturday at 4 30 I was supposed to work from 8 45 to 12 30 but the girl who was covering for me called in sick so I ended up staying until 4 15 so I'm finally home now and I figured I would update y'all on what I've been reading since yesterday I started Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney and I got to page 205 of this and there's like 262 pages so I'm pretty much done with it. I'm going to finish it tonight because I have no plans because I don't have a social life anymore. <laughs> so this is basically about a woman who is in a coma and she's trying to figure out how she got into that coma. And it took a turn that I did not expect and I actually did not see coming at all which is really exciting for me because usually with thriller books I can tell what's gonna happen at all times and at work I read more King of Fools I'm now on page 515 of 599 so I'm almost done tomorrow I work from 12 30 to 4 15 so again I'll just be reading the whole time so maybe tomorrow we'll actually have King of Fools done which will be like my biggest accomplishment of this year and last year technically because I started it in April of last year so <laughs> long overdue but I'm really enjoying it so I mean that's that's a good part but I'm gonna go read Sometimes I Lie and hopefully finish it and if I do finish it then I'll update you on what I'm gonna read next because I have no idea it's 6 30 now I just finished Sometimes I Lie I like don't even know what I just read I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5 because I'm just like so confused like <sighs> I feel like if you've read this book you know what I'm talking about like I'm left with so many freaking questions it was really good but I'm only giving it 4.5 because I'm so freaking confused you know but so good it's now Sunday at like 11 15 I'm just waiting to go to work at 12 30 but I've been filming this morning trying to get all the books off of my floor so that I can vacuum it because I honestly have not vacuumed since like summer of last year so kind of gross my floor is disgusting but we're, we're making progress but I figured I would update you guys on what I read last night because I finished sometimes I lie which you guys saw I gave 4.5 out of 5 and then I started a Treason of Thorns by Laura E. Weymouth. I got this arc like last year at the Frenzy event and um, hadn't picked it up. So now I have. I am about 260 pages in out of like 340 or something like that. It's basically about this house that like takes over its like keeper and this girl's dad used to be the key keeper and then he ends up dying because the house like takes all of his power I don't know but then she decides that she's going to be the new key keeper the king who owns the house is says he's not gonna give her the key but the thing is you need the key to control the magic of the house or else it'll destroy you so it's like the story of her trying to like unbind the house from the king and like find the key and blah 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 like it's okay 
but it's honestly boring <laughs> so I don't know I'm just kind of like speeding through it like it is a very easy read but just very slow like nothing is really happening they just found the key which I feel is not a spoiler because like obviously it's gonna happen okay so they found the key and now they're trying to unbind the house but shit's happening so probably gonna finish this but I'm gonna go film the rest of my book hauls I think I have two more that I need to do and then I can vacuum so that's the plan before I go to work and then work and then back home and then I'm gonna watch SNL with my mom because RuPaul was on last night and RuPaul is my angel and I love him so much so obviously I have to watch it but I couldn't stay awake last night because I'm old and tired so that's the plan.